We have three pairs of spheres, each with the charges given underneath, where E is the elementary charge. Uh, the spheres are also presumably conductive, meaning that charge can be transferred between them. Our objective here is to rank each pair based on the total amount of charge that will be transferred if we were to touch each charge together. It's also important to remember that because like charges will repel from each other as much as possible, then all of the net charge within a conductive body will tend to spread evenly throughout the body. Therefore, if we touched two conducting spheres together, then charge will be evenly distributed throughout them until both spheres have the same charge. Now let's first find out how much charge would end up in the spheres after each transfer. So in pair 1, the net charge, or the total charge in both spheres, is positive 6e plus uh, minus 4e, except this charge will be equally spread into two objects of equal volume. So we will divide by 2, and dividing by 2 will give us the amount of charge in each individual sphere after the transfer. So 6 plus negative 4, that's just 6 minus 4, or 2e divided by 2, and then that's just equal to e, or positive e. So the total charge in each sphere in pair 1 after the transfer is positive e in each sphere. Uh, now we'll do this with the other two scenarios. So that is 0 plus a positive 2e, so that's just 2e divided by 2, or uh, e, so that's again a positive e in both charge after the transfer. And then in situation 3, we have negative 12e, so that's a negatively charged object, plus a positive 14e, again divided by 2, all the spheres have equal volume here. So that is positive 2e again divided by 2, which leaves us with positive e uh, once again for both charges in situation 3. Now that we have the final charges in each pair, we still need to find out the amount of charge that was actually transferred in each situation. Uh, we can simply do this by finding the difference between the final charge in both spheres and the charge on whichever sphere has uh, the same sign, which looks like it's going to be positive in every case, since our final charge was positive in every single case here. And I say same sign only because the arithmetic works out a little easier that way. So, for example, to demonstrate what I mean, for pair 1, first of all, our final charge is positive e, and uh, so I'll subtract that from positive 6e, since that was the charge that started out positive. So positive 6e minus uh, the positive e, oops, a little e there, and so that's positive 5e. So 5e's, 5 elementary charges worth of charge, were transferred in situation 1. In situation 2, that's uh, the positive 2e minus the 1 positive e, which is equal to just an e. So that's a smaller charge there, with a coefficient of 1 over it, though you wouldn't write this out normally. And in situation 3, that's positive 14e, again minus the e. So that's 14e minus e, and that is just 13e. So 13e's have transferred in situation 3. Now again, we want to rank these from greatest to smallest. So that is 13e uh, of, char of, of charge transferred here. 5e uh, transferred in situation 1, and just 1e transferred in situation 2. So clearly, uh, 3 is the pair that had the greatest charge transferred, so that is situation 3 that will rank at the top, which is just greater than situation 1, where 5e has been transferred, so that's situation 1, which is greater than, finally, situation 2, since only one elementary charge worth of charge was transferred. So that's Situation 3 had, a great, had the greatest charge, with situation 2 having the smallest charge transfer. So that's situation 3 over 1 over 2, and that is our final ranking. 
Uh, for the second part of the problem, we also want to rank these pairs based on the amount of charge left over on the sphere that started out positively charged. However, in our case, we were lucky enough that this is pretty easy for us, since in every situation, every single situation, ended with pairs having a charge of positive 1e on each sphere, as you can see from our uh, results here. Therefore, we can pretty quickly determine and communicate that the charges in every situation will be equal on uh, the charge that started out positively. So, uh, one way to write this is to say that 1 equals 2 equals 3, indicating that the charges left over in all three situations, in situations 1, 2, and 3, are equal, because they ended up with the same amount of charge.